Are you guys excited about Christmas? Yeah. Are you so excited? Yeah. It's going to be a lot of fun, huh? So, I want to tell you a little story about this candy cane. Have you seen one of these before? Yeah. Do you have any on your Christmas tree or in your house? No. No? Well, now you can, unless you eat it That's before you get home. Oh, yeah? I have candy in my house. You do? Yes, I have candy. Well, now you have one more, so I'm so I'm glad about that. I have a couple boxes, and these are just pretend boxes, but I want you to think about what happens sometimes at Christmas. Sometimes we get some presents, don't we? I see presents. Well, I wrapped two boxes. Can I show them to you guys? Yeah. Is that okay? I would love to show you my boxes. So, let's take a little vote. Which one of these boxes looks more exciting to you? This one. Are you sure? Yeah. I, not this one? Why not? Is that so a bow on it? Oh, it has a bow on it. And, and you guys looks. agree or not? Which one, red or brown? Red. They, they like the red box too. Maybe there's something about that. Well, do you know what? Tomorrow's Christmas morning and you might have some pretty boxes. But if on Christmas morning you found a package like this with your name on it, what would you think about that? We would say, I don't know if there's anything good in there, huh? Maybe that's why so many people have missed out on God's gift of Jesus. Because the only Son of God did not come in fancy wrapping paper. He didn't have a bow. He didn't have very much to look at. He was just in a manger where they fed animals. And it was dirty and smelly. Even smellier than kids in kindergarten. So <laughs> probably... Uh, that's why many people are not really sure, not really sure what Jesus is all about. But no matter what Jesus is wrapped in, it doesn't have anything to do with what's inside the box, does it? We don't really know. Jesus is the greatest gift the world has ever known. He offers us salvation and eternal life with God. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. Isn't that so awesome? The Bible tells us when Mary found out she was chosen to deliver God's gift to the world, she was filled with joy. Can you guys say joy? Joy. joy. I'll tell you what, if you keep listening, I'm going to find another color of glow stick soon, and then you'll have even more joy. But first, I want to make sure you hear about Jesus, because that's what Christmas is all about. Through Jesus, God sent us the gift of his love. And we can receive the gift of God's Holy Spirit when we put our full faith in Jesus. And that's something moms and dads need to know too. Mm -hmm. We can be reconciled with God no matter how many times we've messed up or how much is broken in our hearts. God can give us a new heart and a new life. And there's no bad place to start talking with God from. That's what Jesus was all about. I want to give you a gift tonight that will help you remember the greatest gift ever given to us in Jesus. It has some words on here. Some of you guys are able to start reading these already and some of you not yet. And some of you can ask for help later to remember what this candy cane is all about. The candy cane is a long time Christmas tradition. There are lots of places, aren't they? Yeah. And it's one of the fun treats of Christmas. But it's a symbol. What yeah. colors do you see on this candy cane, guys? Red and white. Red and white? Do you know what? I have an idea about what this could mean about Jesus. First of all, it looks like the letter J, doesn't it? Yeah. J is for Jesus. That's what his name starts with, isn't it? We can help remember that it's Jesus' birthday every time we look at a candy cane. It also looks like a shepherd's crook. Do you know what a crook is? It's like a big stick. It's like a big stick, that's right. And you could grab a sheep like this. Whoop. Sometimes we get lost, don't we? Yeah. Sometimes we get off the path. And do you know what the shepherd does? He comes and take his, takes his crook and he goes, whoop, let me bring him or her back. Even moms and dads get off the path sometimes. Mm -hmm. And Jesus is the good shepherd. And so he can take his shepherd's crook and he can rescue you. Isn't that awesome? That's what we can remember. Finally, the candy cane is mostly white. There's a little more white than red. Yeah. It's a symbol of purity. That should remind us that Jesus was the spotless lamb of God 
He came to be the sacrifice for our sin so that we can be white as snow. Have you guys seen any snow today? <laughs> we can yeah. be just as white as snow, inside and out. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. But there are some red stripes here too, aren't there? Yeah. Do you know what Jesus did for us to make us white as snow? Yeah. He gave up his life and he died on the cross. It says that he was beaten with a whip. That's horrible. And there were stripes on his back. But because he did that, the Bible says that we are healed by his stripes. Can you say we are healed? We are healed. That's right. By the stripes of Jesus. I hope from now on, every time you guys see a candy cane, you will think of who? Jesus. Jesus. Let's pray together. Fold our hands together, everybody. Thank you, Jesus, for coming to earth as God's greatest gift to us. Thank you for being our good shepherd and taking care of us. And thank you for suffering and dying on the cross so we can have everlasting life. Help us remember that we find the true meaning of Christmas in you, Jesus. In your name we pray. Amen. Can you guys say amen? Amen. Let me send you back to your seats.